friends, it's Hazel's mom. Look at all the cool stuff we have on our table today. Oh, it must be science day. Yeah. <laughs> Grab your lab coats, explorers. It's time for science. balloons is a lot of hard work. Oh man, huh. yeah. When we blow up balloons, we're blowing out the carbon dioxide from our lungs into the balloon. Yeah, when we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide. Yeah, can you do it with me? Ready, deep breath. And blow it out. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. <sighs> that is so cool. But let's see if we can find another way to blow up this balloon by making carbon dioxide, not with our lungs, but with a chemical reaction. Yeah. So for this experiment, we're gonna use baking soda, water in a used water bottle and citric acid. <laughs> Have you ever tried citric acid before? It is super, super sour. Should I try some? Yeah? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Just a little bit. is like putting 12 lemons in your mouth all at once. Woo! Okay, well, let's keep the lid on that. And we'll just use it in our chemical reaction from now on, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. So let's start by adding baking soda to our balloon. So we're gonna put 10 teaspoons of baking soda into our balloon. And we're gonna use the help of a sticky note, which will act like a funnel to get the baking soda into the balloon without making too much of a mess, okay? Yeah, just like that. Okay, remember explorers, if you're gonna do any of these experiments at home, make sure you have your parents' help or grandparents or maybe your babysitter help you out because one, they can get really messy. Yeah, but two, you never wanna make a chemical reaction by yourself. You always wanna have someone around in case something goes astray. Yeah, okay, so let's put 10 teaspoons of baking soda into our balloon. <laughs> we did it! Okay, oh, <laughs> and we've made a little bit of a mess. That's okay. All right, so now that we have our baking soda inside our balloon, we are gonna add the really sour, oh, so sour, citric acid to our warm water to help mix it up. And we're gonna add, let's do 10 teaspoons of this as well. And we'll go ahead and make another funnel
to help us get it into the jar. Are you ready? And 10. Oh, that would be some really sour water. Really? Okay, so let's shake it up. And dissolve the citric acid in the water. <sighs> All right, explorers, this is it. Okay, so what's going to happen is the baking soda is going to have a chemical reaction with the citric acid that we've put in the bottle. And it's going to create car carbon dioxide. Yeah, okay. So let's see if we can actually get the balloon to blow up without using the carbon dioxide from our lungs, but just from the chemical reaction. <sighs> Are you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <sighs> okay, so make, the, make sure the balloon is nice and tight around the top of the bottle. And then we're gonna empty it into the bottle. Here we go. <gasps> Look! <laughs> it's expanding! <gasps> Can you see that? Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. And the balloon is kind of cold. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and there's still some baking soda in the balloon. I have an idea. Okay, make sure your parents are around if you're gonna do this. Let's dump the water into the balloon and see if we can get the rest of the baking soda to have a chemical reaction with the citric acid. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> the balloon's getting bigger. Look! We did it! <laughs> Great job, scientists! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that was a lot of fun. All right, explorers, our second experiment today is also going to be a chemical reaction. I love chemical reactions. Not only are they really cool and fun to do, but they can get pretty messy. And Hazel can tell you, I love to make a mess. Yeah. So for this experiment, we call it exploding planets. And you'll see why in just a minute. So we're gonna use baking soda, shampoo, water, and let's use yellow food coloring to make the planet Jupiter. Yeah. Do you know what a distinguishing feature of Jupiter is? big red spot. Yeah, so let's make sure we put a big red spot on Jupiter, okay? So we're gonna mix this all together. Oh, we're gonna need some more food coloring. really fun things about science experiments is that you can modify them 
modify means change along the way. So if you don't get it right the first time, you can always try again, or you can modify it as you go along to make sure that it actually works. Yeah. Okay, so we've mixed everything together. And next, we're gonna use our hands to make them into balls. Oh, or in this case, into planets. Roll up your sleeves. See how they form into balls? Yeah, all right. Okay, so today we're gonna make three exploding planets. Yeah. All right, now that we have our three planets, Jupiter, do you see its big red spot? Yeah. Mars and the planet Earth, of course. Yeah. So next, we need three jars. And in each of the jars, we've put vinegar. Do you know what happens when you mix vinegar and baking soda together? Yeah. You get a chemical reaction, uh-huh, that causes a lot of foam. So, okay. So let's go ahead and put our planets into the jars and you'll see why we call it exploding planets. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> get prepared to make a mess. Okay, let's start with Earth. Yeah. <gasps> okay, let's do Mars. And Jupiter. Uh-oh, we're gonna overflow our bucket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Well, <sighs> there you go. Sometimes science gets messy. <laughs> All right, explorers, this is our third and final experiment of the day. And of course it's gonna be a chemical reaction. <laughs> we call this one elephant toothpaste. I didn't even know that elephants use toothpaste. Huh. <laughs> but this experiment also gets really messy like our last one. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful when you perform it. We're gonna use hydrogen peroxide, baker's yeast, dish soap, and purple food coloring. Yeah. So first we're gonna start by coloring our hydrogen peroxide with our food coloring. Um, let's put 15 drops in. Yeah, can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, great job. Wow, your counting is really good. Okay, so let's stir that up. Oh, that is really dark purple, isn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna put it in our glass jar. So we have a bucket under this jar as well. <laughs> you saw how messy the last experiment got. This one could be a little more messy. Okay, so let's dump it in. Oh, 
Whew. Okay, and then we're gonna add our yeast to some warm water. Have you ever used baker's yeast before to make bread? Okay, we're gonna stir that up. And you wanna make sure that the water you use is warm, but not hot. Because if it's too hot, it could kill the yeast and then you won't get the chemical reaction that you're looking for. Okay, and then into our jar, we're also gonna add some dish soap. We'll give that a good swirl. Ooh, that is really dark purple. Okay. Are you ready? I'm excited. Can you tell? Okay. So now we're gonna pour our yeast and water into our hydrogen peroxide that has dish soap and food coloring in it and see what happens. Are you ready? Okay, let's count to three. One, two, three. Here, let's use our pipette. It's like really thick. Oh my gosh, it's really, really thick foam. <laughs> oh man, I love to make a mess. <laughs> wow, friends, I have had so much fun learning about chemical reactions with you today. <laughs> and, <laughs> making a mess. If you like this video, you can click the little purple bear in the corner of your screen to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're going to perform any of these experiments on your own, you can post them on Instagram and tag us at Hazel's Mom Official, hashtag official explorer. I would love to see how they turn out for you. And if you have ideas of other experiments that you would like us to perform here on Hazel's Mom, leave us a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> yeah. All right, explorers, until next time, happy sciencing. Bye. I mean, that's one way to get the plant tooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, let's sit back here. Let's sit right here. Okay. Ready? This is called elephant toothpaste. Are you ready? Can you count to three? We can do it louder. One, two, three.
Yeah! Yeah!